Welcome back to another OBS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about uh, how to change some settings in our webcam. We'll learn about uh, brightness and darkness. We'll learn how to change some of the basic settings that are built into the webcam, like autofocus and auto white balance, and how to disable that to get a better uh, picture or a better, more predictable experience while using your camera. So I already have mine added in as a source. I'm using like a 1080p Logitech USB webcam. To get into the properties, we can right click and go to properties, or we can just double click on it in the sources. Uh, this gives you properties for your source. It'll be different if you're using a microphone, and depending on what camera you're using, you'll have different options here too. So this we've already looked at before, choosing the device. When you first add a device, you choose which one, if you have multiple cameras, for example. But if we scroll down, you can resize this like I did, or you can just scroll down, and there's more options. We have these camera controls. So we can change the brightness, how oh, how uh, dark or bright our camera is. We can control the contrast, and we can control the color saturation. If we turn this all the way down, it'll be black and white. If we turn it all the way up, it'll be very saturated and yeah. But the thing I want to show you is this auto white balance uh, and then also auto focus. So if I hold something very close to the camera, it'll automatically focus in on that. And then when I take it away, I'm kind of out of focus. Sometimes you'll see people that are doing this if they're if you get close to the camera it, it adjusts the white and the lightness and darkness of your scene and it can kind of look not very professional so if you're in a constant scene with a with a constant light source uh, you might want to disable this auto white balance and then you can just adjust it yourself you know adjust how you want your your picture to look uh, this white balance temperature and it'll just stay right there where you put it uh, instead of automatically adjusting it for you so that's something you might want to consider um, another thing is this uh, focus and then also exposure depending on what options your camera has but autofocus if you're holding things up to the camera a lot and you want it to focus that can be good but sometimes it won't if you have a really poor camera or if there's lots of things happening in your scene uh, it you might be out of focus and so it's a good idea to turn off this autofocus if you're always staying the same distance away from the camera and then you can manually focus in you, you, you can put yourself out of focus and focus on something um, very close to the camera, but you can manually focus that in and out uh, using this focus. And, and there's times you'll want to use autofocus, but I just want to draw your attention to these options that you have uh, built into your camera. And then there'll be different options too. Uh, I'll just hit cancel here. If we add in an audio source, I'll add in the audio input capture from this same webcam because remember just because we add the camera doesn't mean we're adding the microphone from the camera. So to do that I'll do this drop down and say select the audio source from the webcam. And I'm not sure what all options we have here if we double click. So I guess that was it. The only option we have under the microphone right now is just which microphone we're using. So this particular one isn't sending and I don't know that I've, that I've seen it send some devices will send more options to OBS if the, the device like the camera has um, certain options. But uh, in the next video, what we're going to be looking at is filters. And that's a way that we can add different things. Uh, if we click on filters, we have all these different options that we can add. Um, we can control, we can add a compressor to our audio. We can control the, the volume, the gain on it. And depending on what we click on here, if I hit close, there's also options under the video device, under filters that we can add all kinds of different video. We can do color correction, we can do chroma key like green screen, uh, and um, we can do a lot of really cool things. So we're gonna go through all these and play with them in the next video, but I just wanted to show you um, just webcam specifically that there are different options that you should be aware of besides using filters. So thanks for watching and look forward to catching you in the next video.